In our final two questions um, of this unit, um, we're looking again at two objects with identical masses in an elastic collision. This time, the initial velocity of object one is three meters per second and that of object two is two meters per second. We're interested in the velocity of object one after the collision. Now, again, here's what we know. We know the velocities of the two objects before the collision, respectively 3 meters per second and 2 meters per second, and we want to know what the two velocities will be afterwards. In this particular case, we're only interested in that of the first object. Now recall that in an elastic collision between two identical objects, they are going to exchange velocities. It's as simple as that. So mass 1 will have the velocity of mass 2 after the collision. So, put simply, V1 prime will be equal to V2, and that was 2 meters per second. 